Hello and welcome back everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey Zed, up to today's video, we are gonna be practicing some of the questions from Simple Arithmetic, which will be helpful for your entrance preparation for Finnish University. On our previous video, we have already discussed some of the questions from Simple Arithmetic. If you haven't seen that video and practice any of that question, I recommend you to watch the video, which will be appearing on the top right side of the screen. So without doing further delay, let's head to our questions and practice our answer. This is the part two, so I highly recommend you to watch our part one and then come back to this part of the video. Now let's go. To to the first question so before jumping into the video i would like to announce that this is the final video regarding simple automatic and inside of this video we are going to be practicing a total of five questions and if you want further more questions then you can visit our community tab and then you can find there some of the questions which are available for the members of our channel you have to submit your gmail id in the comment section in order to get approval for the questions in google drive there are a total of 13 questions for you to practice from simple automatic so if you want to practice some of the questions from simple automatic then you can use your gmail in the comment section which will be available for the members of our channel only so if you are the member of our channel and want to get access to additional 13 questions then you can leave your gmail id in the community tab and get access to additional 13 questions now let's start our first question for today's video so the question goes like this if any amount in three years will be 1035 with interest and in five years it will be 1125 with interest then what will be the interest rate and principal so here in this question there are two given conditions, and from those conditions, we have to find out interest rate and principal the first condition is time is given three years and the total amount is given 1035 in the second condition time is given five years and amount is given 1125 now let's find out principal from the first condition we know the formula of principal principal equals amounts time 100 divided by 100 plus time into rate from there we can substitute the value of amount time and rate is not given so we will leave the rate as it is amount is given 1035 times 100 divided by 100 plus 3 times rate which we will assume it to be our first equation so from the second condition same as our first condition we will calculate the value of principal the formula is same just uh, value is different therefore principal is equals to 1125 into 100 divided by 100 plus 5 into r here time is given 5 year therefore 5 into r this is our second equation since in the question the principal amount is same therefore we can equate equation 1 and 2 1035 times 100 divided by 100 plus 3r equals to 11 125 times 100 divided by 100 plus 5r here we can cancel out the value of 100 from both of the equation therefore 1035 divided by 1125 1125 comes from the right side right hand side by the cross multiplication equals to 100 plus 3r 100 plus 3 r comes from the left hand side by the cross multiplication divided by 100 plus 5r so dividing 1035 with 1125 we get 23 divided by 25 equals to 100 plus 3r divided by 100 plus 5r is same as as it is now we can do cross multiplication multiplying 23 times 100 plus 5r equals to 25 times 100 plus 3r which will be equals to 2300 plus 115r is equals to 2500 plus 75 r now 115 remains on the same side and 75 comes to be subtracted equals to 2500 minus 2300 115 minus 75 is equals to 40 r which will be equals to 2500 minus 2300 which is equals to the value 200 dividing 200 by 40 we get r equals to 5 percent therefore the value of rate of interest is r equals to 5 percent now substituting the value of r in one of the equation i will be substituting in the equation 2 therefore p equals to 11 125 times 100 divided by 100 plus 5 into 5 by calculating all those terms we get the value 900 therefore our principal amount is to be 900 and interest rate is 5 percent here is the complete solution of question number 6 now let's move on to question number 7 so the question number 7 goes like this if any amount kept at bank with simple interest will be doubled in 8 years then find the interest provided by the bank here the question is asking us to find out the interest provided by the bank if the amount kept in the bank with simple interest will double in 8 years first of all we will suppose the principal to be x or you can simply write it as p but i will be supposing it to be x so according to the questions we have the amount to be 2x therefore the interest is equals to amount minus principal from there we can find the interest amount to be x and the time is given 8 years we know the formula to calculate the simple interest i equals to ptr divided by 100 from there we can find out the formula to calculate rate of interest which becomes r equals to i times 100 divided by p times t here interest we have already calculated to be x x times 100 divided by principal we have suppose is to be x x into 8 
which equals to 12.5 percent therefore the rate of interest provided by the bank is 12.5 percent now let's move on to another question which will be question number eight so the question number eight goes like this here mr adds while depositing 4000 in the bank for three years his amount becomes 4600 if the interest rate higher by two percent what should be his amount so here mr h is depositing 4000 in the bank for the three years and his amount becomes 4600 within three years if the interest rate got higher by two percent then what will be the amount the question has asked us to calculate the amount if the interest rate goes high by two percent so here we will write the given first of all principal is given 4000 amount is given 4600 in three years from there we can calculate the value of interest to be 4600 minus 4000 which equals to 600 is the interest amount for the three years period from there we will calculate the rate we know the formula to calculate rate of interest which equals to i times 100 divided by p times t here we have already calculated the value of i therefore we can write it as 600 times 100 which will be divided to principal and time principal is 4000 and time is given three years from there we have calculated the rate of interest to be five percent now according to the question if the interest rate increases by two percent what will be the amount so previously we had the interest rate of five percent so if the interest rate got increased by two percent what will be the amount so the total interest rate is seven percent from there we will calculate the interest amount we know the formula to calculate interest amount which equals to ptr divided by 100 principal is given 4000 time is given three years and the rate of interest got increased by two percent which equals to seven percent which is divided by 100 so our total interest amount is equals to 840 from there we can calculate the total amount by adding principal with interest 4000 is the principal amount and we have calculated the new interest for 7 percent which is 840 which equals to altogether 4840 therefore if the interest increases by 2 percent the amount will be 4840 now let's move on to question number 9 so question number 9 goes like this if miss r lends mrs t 20000 for 5 years at 5 percent simple rate what will be total amount miss t will pay to miss r so here we will write the given condition first of all principal amount is given 20000 rate of interest is given 12 percent time is given five year and the question is asking us to calculate the total amount we know the formula to calculate total amount total amount is calculated by adding principal with interest so here we have to calculate the value of interest first of all so we can find the value of interest by using the formula ptr divided by 100 here the condition p t and r all are given so we will just substitute the value of each of the term here 20000 is principal 5 is the year and 12 is the rate of interest which is divided by 100 therefore the total interest amount is 12000 so by adding the principal amount and interest amount we can calculate the total amount to be 32000 20000 is the principal amount and 12000 is the interest amount so the total amount is equals to 32000 therefore the total amount miss t will pay to miss r is 32000 so now let's move on to the final question of the day which is question number 10 so question number 10 goes like this if oliver lends 5000 to michael at 25 percent simple interest how much interest will oliver get after one year so this is a very simple question the interest rate is given to be 25 percent time is given one year and the principal amount is given 5000 and the question is asking us how much interest will oliver get after one year so the formula is very simple we know the formula to calculate interest which equals to ptr divided by 100 principal is given 5000 time is given one year and rate of interest is given 25 which gets divided by 100 therefore the total answer will be 1250 therefore mr oliver gets 1250 after one year with simple interest rate of 25 percent so this is the end of the today's video and let me know in the comment section how was today's video and if you did find this video a little bit useful and informative make sure to leave us a like like on the video and a reminder for you guys if you are the member of our channel and want additional question from simple automatic you can visit our community section from there you can get additional questions to 13 questions you can leave your gmail id in the comment and i will be approving your link to the additional 13 questions if you are the member of our channel so this much for today i hope you like today's video and give us a feedback about today's video by commenting in the comment section by saying this much i want to end this video right here so see you in the next video everyone